All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here. And with today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Defender Pro from OtterBox for my iPhone 13 Pro. Now the Defender Pro is kind of like the creme de la creme of OtterBox cases. So if you're someone that's looking for a rugged case that's gonna protect your phone from bumps and bruises, then stay tuned, watch this video. As far as this phone case goes, it is $64.95 on OtterBox's website right now. And it comes in a total of four different colors, which I will link those down in the description. So if you wanna buy this case after watching this video for any of your iPhone 13, so if you have the 13, 13 mini, the Pro or the Pro Max, do follow those links down below. Now OtterBox was kind enough to send this to me for this review video. So let's go ahead and take a peek at the actual box. Just like all OtterBox boxes, it looks just like them all. You have the OtterBox logo there for the Defender Pro series. You got the cutout there showing off the phone that you can touch and feel. And right here, you do see that it says it is drop plus four times tested to military standards. So big time drop protection there. Lasting antimicrobial case protection made with more than 50% of recycled plastics. It is for the 21 Pro, but it is says it does say large, but just FYI guys, that does not mean it's the Pro Max. I thought that when I got this in the mail, it is for the regular 6.1 inch Pro. 5G compatible materials, it says new design here and the give back program, Defender Pro on this side, Defender Pro on this side, and then just the kind of standard stuff on the back that we will go over in this video. So the way to get this out is you literally just pull this tab up and then just kind of slide it out here. Now with this case, as you can see, uh, you do get the belt clip and everything like that. So you gotta uh, kinda, you know, pop this out and then, well, really guys, I hate this packaging. It just makes it sometimes, just makes it a pain in the butt. You kinda have to slide it up and then kinda work your way out. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a pain in the you know what. But uh, let's go ahead and pop this out, put this to the side here and let's focus on the case. So as far as the case goes, as you can see here with the Defender Pro, you have a very rugged, very grippy case here. On the inside, you do have this really nice cushiony material here that's going up against the phone. You do see that it says Defender Pro Drop, uh, drop Plus there. On the inside, you can see that it does have some really, really nice protection inside of this case. So the way that you wanna put the phone in the case is actually by removing the exterior from the interior frame. Because it is a dual layer case, you have this very nice rubbery TPU material, and then you got this hard plastic here. And then what you wanna do is basically where the little arrows are, is just kinda of pop them out. And so what you do is just kinda of start to pull and pull and pop, pop lock and drop it, and voila, there it is. So you got the exterior top frame and then where the back of the phone goes. So let's go ahead and just put it in. So I'm gonna put the phone in first like that. So there you can kind of see how it looks, how it's protected there. And then what we'll do is when we'll put this on top and then you just kind of click it on. So you'll hear all those satisfying clicks once it's all clicked into place, kind of just want to do a once over and just double check. We wipe the lenses off. I just touched it with my hand. And there is what it looks like without the exterior part. And then when you put this on, it's pretty easy. You're literally guys just gonna just stick it on and you're just gonna kind of click it all around. As you can see here, like there's that raised part there. You're just going to just start pushing. It's that easy. It's literally that easy. No issues at all. And then you just keep on pushing, 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 making sure it's all nice and snug on there. And there it is. And there it is installed on the actual phone. So as you can see here, like I said, with this exterior here, it just has this really cool pattern on the back. It's extremely grippy guys. Like the case isn't gonna slip out of your hand at all, but you do have the OtterBox branding there. And as I said, you can see that kind of just grippiness all around. You have this little bit of a different texture that goes around the actual camera bump. And as you can see with the lenses recessed down in here, kind of has this high gloss material here. 
but uh, it's not like a lip that's actually going around it. It's just dropping the lenses down. So that way it's keeping this nice flush back. So when we do the wobble test, I'm very curious to see, is it gonna shake or not? What do you think? Comment down below, let me know. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like there. On the sides here, as you can see, you do have a little bit of that plastic showing through, but as you can see, it's just got this really nice, just grippy material on the sides here. Really nice squared off power button there. Going down to the bottom, as you can see here, you do have a flap that is protecting the port. So if you don't wanna get any gunk or anything in there, you can just kind of fold that down. But when you wanna charge, you just lift it up and boom, there you go. You have easy access to the lightning port. And then of course, nice generous cutouts for the speakers and the mics down at the bottom. Here on the sides, same thing. That same grippiness kind of texturized material here on the sides. That same kind of showing through of the um, exoskeleton around the phone squared off volume up and down buttons. And once again, a flat protecting your alert slider. And to cover it up, you just pop it back in. And then nothing here at the top. And like I said, when you see that back, it is very flat. So there is no bump that's kind of sticking out around the camera bump. Same thing here at the front. You do have some nice raised lips all around. It's more on the forehead and chin, as you can see there. So it's gonna help with that wobbleness as well. And then on the front, it is tempered glass friendly, and you can see kind of that two-tone materials of the, of the grippy TPU and then the hard plastic there, and then it does cut around the actual speaker, so that's kind of how it looks there. Now let's go ahead and do that shake test. So let's start with the front. So there is no shake at all, it is not wobbly. And now the back. Same thing guys, no shake at all with the back and it's because of that flat cut like that. So like I said, there is no bump. It's just having the lenses kind of drop down in there a little bit. So next thing I like to do is the clickiness of the buttons and then we'll do the alert slider test. So let's start with the power button. Okay, and volume up and down. All right, so Passes the flying colors, guys. So if you like clicky buttons, the pros got it. And the next thing we're gonna do is the alert slider. Now, unfortunately, you do have that extra step where you have to flip open this, but that's kind of part of the whole Defender Pro thing. You know, obviously it's, it's meant for people that are gonna maybe drop it or construction workers or something like that. So you're gonna wanna protect, especially those super glossy uh, sides there. But once it's flipped open, you do have pretty easy access to it, but at the end of the day, guys, you are definitely gonna wanna use your fingernails for this one. Uh, so as you can see, I can get to it, but I have a hard time getting to it with my thumb. Like I can't really reach it with my thumb. So you almost have to you know, do that muscle memory with your finger, uh, with your index finger. And as you can see there, I can get to it pretty easily there, but I do have to kind of rotate. Um, so that's just something to point out. So if you are someone that likes uh, super easy access to your alert slider, then the Pro might not be for you. Now the next test is going to be the MagSafe test. So let's go ahead and slap this on and let's see. And as you can see, it is MagSafe compatible. So even though you have all these like just dual layers of things, you got this thickness of, of the out, outside of here with that interior um, you know, plastic that's around it, the hard plastic, it is going through and finding the MagSafe part there. So it's not gonna be just this super strong connection. I mean, as you can see, it, it barely hugs. I mean, it, it's not just like staying on hardcore. And that's to be expected because it's having to go through so many layers. But at least if you're someone that likes to maybe uh, put the phone um, you know, back down like on the charger, if it's just sitting on your table, it's gonna do just fine. So no issues at all. So overall, guys, in the hands, it feels really good. Uh, you know, it's gonna add some bulk to your phone, but that's once again to be expected. If you're a Defender Pro person, then you know what you're getting yourself into. It's not a super slim case, but for the overall kind of feel, it does not really add a ton of weight to it, to be honest with you. It feels pretty decent in the hand. Uh, the grippiness is fantastic. So yeah, two thumbs up all around. And last but not least, let's go ahead and show off the uh, accessory that you get with it. So like the OtterBox Defenders that you always uh, know and love, you get your little, um, you know, plate here 
that's a belt clip and you can also double it as kind of a you know um, a stand for your actual table so it kind of clicks open there so you can kind of use that uh, like I said as a kickstand and then if you want to just undo it you just pull that down and boom there you go so pretty easy you just kind of put it there and it clicks in just nice so like I said if you are someone that you know maybe tucks in your shirt a lot and you want to have your uh, phone on your belt loop or you know tucked in your pants or shorts uh, there you have it and then of course you can do it this way where the screen's the only or the the back's the only thing that's showing and the screen's being protected you can flip it around if you are someone that prefers to have the screen facing out so if you have it on your pocket or excuse me your belt loop or or in you know tucked in your pants then at least then your screen is facing out but if I was the person to wear this, I'm going to do it like this. So I'm protecting my screen. But also, like I said, if you do do it this way, then you are able to, like I said, click it there and then be able to watch a video with it just like this. So if you are someone that wants to watch a video, then you do have that ability to use this and it sets up pretty easily. You also have the ability to do it where it's like this or excuse me, not like that like this where you can have it setting up like this as well so that way if you are someone that likes to prefer to have your phone just kind of just you know resting and, and angled at you a little bit then you can have it still sticking out where it's like that so you can kind of do landscape and portrait mode depending on you know what you want to do and like i said whenever you're done you just click that button there and voila it closes so there it is guys there is the defender pro if it's uh you know if you are someone that likes uh really thick cases that are not really thick but you know kind of thick uh then this is going to be for you guys so hit that like button if you liked the video if you loved it please subscribe and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content so be safe god bless and i'll see you on the next one